The system of the minister responsibility as provided in the Indian constitution is similar to which prevails in England. There are two aspects of this responsibility with responsibility to the legislature and responsibility to the president. Regarding the responsibility to the legislature, Article 75, Clause 3 of the Constitution of India, which provides that the Council of Ministers is collectively responsible to the House of People. The result is that the House of People can dismiss the ministry by passing a vote of no confidence against it or rejecting a bill introduced by the ministry. As is the practice in England, in India also, when the ministry is outvoted in the House of People, it may refuse to resign. And it may request the president to dissolve the House of the People in order to know the will of the people. If at the new elections, the old ministry secures the majority in the House of People, it continues to remain in office. However, if it has not won the requisite majority, then it has to resign. Number second, responsibility to president. Regarding responsibility of ministers to the president, the constitution provides that the prime minister is to be appointed by the president and the other ministers are to be appointed by the president on the aid and advice of the prime minister. The ministers are to hold the office at the pleasure of the president. Thus, the president can dismiss any minister he pleases. But in actual practice, the president will exercise the powers only on the advice of the prime minister. The reason is that if the president dismisses a minister without or against the advice of prime minister, it will lead to resignation of the whole ministry. In such eventuality, the president has to find an alternative ministry to carry on the administration of the country. That may not always be possible, particularly if the old ministry had a comfortable majority in the House of People. Thus, discretion will force the president to use his power of dismissal of ministers only on the advice of prime minister.